It's already done. I won't even talk to you about it anymore. It was your idea in the first place, and now you're having second thoughts? Have I ever done anything abusive or wrong to you? Ever? I've given you everything. The house you live in, this life, the fancy clothes you wear, even your breasts. <laughs> You want for nothing, but it's never enough, is it? I'm never good enough, am I? And you can't even thank me. But Jack... No, no, no. You don't get to talk right now. You said you wanted us to be closer, that we were missing something. It was your idea to get into the whole swinging thing in the first place. But now, you're making me second-guess myself because you don't trust me. After all this time, Julia, you're my everything. My goddess. My whole world. I'm doing this for you. For us. To make us better. We're in this life together. For better or for worse in sickness and in health, till death do us part. You made that vow to me seven years ago, and you will keep it. You'll keep it if it kills you. Do you love me? Go to bed, Julio.
hungry? You need to eat. Here. Let me feed you. This hard. You need to eat something. You can't starve yourself. Mm, yeah. oh, now that's a good girl. We need to keep your strength up, don't we? Yes, we do. Did you think of me? Thank you, baby. You're more than welcome, honey. I took your advice and salted the eggs after, and they did come out much fluffier. I told you. Very good, baby. Maybe tomorrow we can do sausage instead of bacon. I could use a change of pace. We have hot breakfast sausage or maple sausage. Mm. Maple. And can you make the patties? And let's do over easy tomorrow, okay? Anything for you, baby. Maybe when I get home, I'll give you a reward. There's more over that too. Okay. I love you, baby. Have a great day. Julia? Julia? Please don't go.
rough recently. Where? You know where. Please, I can't stop the bleeding. I don't know if I can help, it just depends on how bad it is. Please. Let me take a quick look. I'll be right back. It just looks like you started your period. He's not gonna be happy about this. We're gonna have to do her best to keep this from him, okay? How long do you normally bleed for? Just a couple of days. That's a lot of blood. He's gonna be home soon. some pads. Got a few. Will you be able to stand on your own? Uh, yeah, I think so. All right. I'm gonna go get you some fresh clothes and I'll change you. And I'll get this cleaned up better too. Thank you, Julia. You're welcome. Her name's sorry. Dahlia. She used to work here. Sorry, I've never Please. seen her. Uh, are you sure? Her name's Dahlia? some help here. I'm here, baby. Are you hungry? <sighs> Not really. What's wrong? We need to be smart about money. Don't even ask me for a dime right now. Is it really that bad?
Yeah, it's really that fucking bad. What are you doing? I'm doing something for dinner. I told you I wasn't hungry. Well, I think maybe I've got something at How is she? She's fine, Jack. I, I don't want to talk about her right now. Don't you want me, baby? No. Good night. Hmm. Did you do something wrong? No. I mean, she started her period and there was blood everywhere, but I was only in there for a few minutes. So you did do something wrong. I imagine you wouldn't have told me if you didn't want to be punished. Should I punish you both? No, I, I told you, she wouldn't. Well, bad girls need to be taught a lesson. I go to the bedroom and take off your clothes. Oh, and grab a towel on the way. I think this punishment might be a little messy. But Jack, I told you the truth. Please. I brought you some more pads. Thank you. What did he do to you last night? Don't worry about it. But wait, what? I just, I thought. You thought what? He hurts you too? That's just the way it is. Has he always been this way? What do you want? I wasn't trying to... Spit it out! I don't have all day! Can I help? He just got a little overzealous with his punishment last night. Why would you let him do Do you think I have a choice? But punish you? For what? Because I went into your room yesterday and spoke to you when he wasn't home. I had no idea there were so many restrictions on you. Jack has many rules, and if I play by them, everything's fine. If I don't, they're not. I have learned over the years to play by Jack's rules, and you should too. I'm sorry. I wish there was something I could have done. Just be quiet. Do what he says, and that's it. No, Julia. Julia. Hey! Julia, you know this isn't right. We, we can leave together. I, I have a friend who can help us. She's a good friend. Julia! Julia! Julia!
Conejo, what's happening? Oh, it's already so beautiful. Oh, there we go. Well, thank you. We are just getting started. Yeah. Wait until the walls go up. That's when things really start to take shape. Where's Mr. Conejo? He got tied up at work. He's not going to be able to make it. So. No problem. I'll just take some pictures and send them over. Okay. Besides, mm -hmm. we both know who the true visionary is behind this beautiful <laughs> design. Jack, you are such a charmer. Happy wife, happy life. Come on. Entre vous, mademoiselle. Oh, merci, monsieur. <laughs> What's wrong? Stop! I can't. I can't. You don't have a choice. Well, stop this. You can let me go. Please. I, nothing ever works for me. I, I've done everything. It's all complete shit. I can't. I think it's because I'm no good. I've never been any good. Maybe. But those are the cards that life dealt us. There's no karma, there's no justice, there's no wrong, there's no right. Oh, God. You think the Almighty has any time for us? No. He doesn't have time for me. He never has. And she doesn't have time for me, either. I was 12 the first time I had sex. It's a friend of my father's. They were at the house drinking. And he came into my room and I did a thing. I was 11. Some college guy I knew. What did we do when we were young to deserve this? I don't know. And we never will. I can't kill you, Dahlia. I can't even kill myself. We can escape together. We'll go to the police. Sure. Great plan. But you forget to mention I'm an accomplice to your kidnapping. No, no, Julia, I would never. I, I wouldn't. Don't play that innocent girl routine with me. You would rat me out in a second. I don't mean anything to you, and you mean nothing to me. So stop feeling sorry for yourself. And just do what you gotta do to survive. You're here all day. How is that surviving? There are plenty of things to do. Jack likes things done in a certain order. And if they're not done, let's just say I get it done. 
How do you make it? I don't even know most days. I just go through the motions. I used to play this game with myself called Breaking Point. What would be my breaking point? Isn't all of it a breaking point? I mean, what he does, how he does it. I hear him with you, Julia. It's violent. Don't misunderstand, Dahlia. Jack loves me. I know there's violence in our relationship, but there's also passion and love and this madness that makes us whole somehow. I never knew true love until I met Jack. This can't be love, Julia. It, it can't be. Don't pretend to know me, little girl. This father thing? This was not an isolated incident. I was raped over and over and over again. And I finally ran away when I was 17. And I had to make my way through this world. And eventually I found Jack. He loved me then. And he loves me now. And this game he's playing with you is going to end. He will get bored with you and toss you out. To toss me out? If you want to get through this game, Dahlia, you have to stop feeling sorry for yourself. No one's going to help you. And no one's going to save you. And if they do, it'll come with a price. Nothing in this world is free. You can just give me something, and I'll do it myself. And let Jack find your body and take out his frustrations on me? I don't even know why you're still here. I can't kill you, Dahlia. Just live, Dahlia. That's all. so much for meeting me. No problem. So, after we got off the phone, I spoke to a buddy of mine in Missing Persons, and he said there's no new leads on that case. I just don't understand. She wouldn't just go missing. I mean, come on. I told them a ton of information about her when they asked. Please, I read that after 48 hours, in, in situations like this, it's less and less likely for them to solve it. Look, Olivia, I've known you for a long time, and I'm not trying to upset you. But in cases like these, most of the time, they're never found. Especially when there's so little to go on. I just, I just don't think they're looking everywhere. I mean, they... Olivia, I got, I've got to go. But if I hear anything, I'll let you know, okay? Okay, well, who won't I as well? Olivia, I get it. But they're doing everything they can. I'm sorry, but I have to go. If I hear anything, I'll let you know. You're going to be okay? I'll be fine. If I hear anything, I'll let you know.
keep it, baby. Make sure I don't leave it at the list today, okay? I'm sorry, honey. I, I forgot. What? I forgot to write the list. But I just need a few minutes and I can write it up. Seven years. Seven years. I go to the store on the same day of the week. And you always have the list ready. What is wrong with you? I don't, I don't know. I'm sorry, honey. Just put the order in online and have it ready for pickup at 5.30. I'll grab it after work. But you changed the password. I, I don't have access. Oh, yeah. That's right. I thought there might be better use of your time than fucking Pinterest and fan fiction. Uh, we just need a few things for dinner tonight. Fine. Make the list now. Okay. Enjoying your little chats lately? What are you talking about? Don't be stupid, Julia. I know you've been talking to her. Two women in the same house? Of course you've been talking. That's all women seem to do, is talk. What does she say about me? We don't talk. I told you about her period, and you've already punished me. Bullshit. I know you talked with her yesterday. She told me. That's right. Little Dahlia ratted you out. You know what else she told me? How much she likes it when I come to her room at night and fuck her. She also told me how much she likes it when I put my hands around her throat and start choking her. Mm -hmm. You know what that's called, don't you, baby? Asphyxiation. She likes it like that. She likes to come when she can't breathe. Do you play with her while I'm at work? Do you make her suck you? Lick you? Do you watch me while I fuck her? I know you like it. You're getting turned on right now. I can smell it. You're gonna be late for work, honey. Remember all the fun we used to have together? Do you not like your new playmate? She's your playmate, Jack. What did you say? Nothing. I made you breakfast. What did you say? You're gonna be late for work. Everything I do it's for you, Julia. Everything. I don't want breakfast. I just want you to tell me what you said. And I don't care about being late. Now say it! She's your playmate, Jack.
she's not just my playmate, Julia. She can be yours too. <laughs> Yes, Julia. like that baby? You want more? Get out, Julia. I'm gonna be late for work. Close the door. But stay in the hallway so you can hear me while No, Liv, come on, this is stupid. Taking pictures? I look like crap. Memories. And I'm just glad you finally left that asshat. And I'm glad you called. Yeah, me too. Look, abusive relationships are tough enough, especially when you feel love. You guys were on and off for a year, right? Almost two. And it was the same story every time. You would leave him when shit hit the fan, and he would beg you to come back, promise to never do it again. The first time was just a lot of yelling. I mean, I knew it was violence. He never raised a hand to me. <laughs> Fine line between love and hate, babe. I remember the first time he did hit me. He kept screaming at me, accusing me of cheating on him. And he, he demanded that I let him smell me. <laughs> of course, I told him to go to hell. His hand came up so fast. I didn't even feel the impact until I was on the floor. It's all in the past, Dahlia. New beginnings start now. It's right across the cheekbone. I just sat there. I 
didn't cry. I didn't do anything. I've been hit like that before. I just, I thought he loved me. It's just, he was so sorry afterwards. And he got eyes for me and he kept saying that his dad had raised him better. You know what I thought? Mm. I loved him like this. And him that you can take the hits? I didn't like it. He gave me so much afterwards. He made me feel empty most of the time. I would pour out everything, trying to anticipate every need. He needed so much. It's a normal reaction. It is? Sure it is. Seriously, Liv. Thank you for coming to get me. You know I'm always here for you. Just promise me this is the last time I have to come and get you. It, it is. It is. Let's eat. Where the hell's Dahlia? Fuck Dahlia. What the hell? He's psycho. Where is get she? Get the fuck Where off is she? Run it! Run it! Run it! Run it! Run it! Run it! Is your end game. Why would you tell him we talked again? I already told him about your fucking period. Sorry, he's just, he has ways of making me. Whatever. We are done. We are not in this together. Before you came along, I had him handled. Now you can take your licks along with everybody else. No, wait, Julia, Julia, please, I need you. Julia, Julia! Julia! Manny. Yeah. Yes, I'm here. No, they're not. What the fuck? Listen, amigo. I don't... All right, just shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Just forget about that, all right? I want you to put all of your focus right now on Conejo, all right? All of it. Don't, don't, I said don't worry about it. Just everything on Conejo. Just take care of them, okay? But, yes, that's right. Don't worry about that. All right. Yeah. Babe, listen to me. She's mine and only mine. That was our deal. So no talking to her again. Let's not ruin this magical balance we have. I've never been happier, okay? 
Say okay. Great. Well, I'm going hunting in a bit, so I'll be home later. You don't mean that. I know you're just tired. Right? You know you're my girl. Things are coming for us. Now get some sleep. Are you okay? I thought you were done with me. I heard everything he did to you last night. I knew it was going to be bad when he came back from the hunt yesterday. I could see it in his... In his eyes? Yes. You need to eat something. I want to take one of these. It's for the pain. I don't have anything stronger, but it'll help. Go on, take it.
Thank you. Are we talking again? Let's just not say anything next time, no matter what. He's gone? In more ways than one. Can I... What do you want? I don't even know anymore. Does he do to you what he did to me? Do you really want to know that? No. You know, my, my father, he, he told me this story uh, about a little bunny. My father wasn't really around much. and He wasn't very fatherly, but I remember the story. There was this little bunny rabbit and she was hopping around one day when she met a serpent. The bunny had never seen a serpent before. She didn't know that they were dangerous. She was lonely, and the serpent talked to her. He told her how pretty she was, and complimented her little white tail. He asked her about all her favorite places, and all her favorite foods. And the bunny, who's usually very hyper, was kind of mesmerized by the way that the snake moved and spoke. The bunny became comfortable with the serpent, and they met each other every day under the same tree. One day, the serpent brought another bunny. The little bunny didn't understand why, or the feeling that she had. The serpent suggested that they be friends. The little bunny agreed, because the serpent had asked, but she didn't really want to. And eventually, the serpent had both bunnies slowed down as he talked. He asked them questions. They didn't realize that the serpent was slowly wrapping himself around him, coil by coil. The bunnies were finding it hard to breathe, but they just adjusted their breathing to the shallower intake. The little bunny saw the big bunny being devoured by the serpent. And when she asked why, the serpent said, because he could. When he had devoured the big bunny, he was full with his meal. He decided that he was going to take a nap. The little bunny wasn't going anywhere. The little bunny lay there in excruciating pain, wondering how she'd let herself get into such a dangerous situation. And suddenly, she moved her foot. It was slight. But she knew something was happening. The venom was wearing off. Then she moved her other foot. And she was able to get both feet underneath her. She started her escape. She was careful to make sure not to wake the serpent from his nap. And she hopped off. Past the forest. Over the hill. And she stood there, looking back. Her ears raised. And she turned around and hopped off. Is that it? Yeah. What's the point of the story? Don't be the bunny. <laughs> it's a terrible story. <laughs> oh my God. I know, it's, it's awful. <sighs> you know... I know we're not supposed to talk, but... I'd, I'd like to. Me too.
How can I help you, Darren? A friend of mine. Um, she used to live around here and used to come here often. About three months ago, she went missing. I think this was the last place she was here before she went missing. Do you recognize her? No, sorry. Uh, I'm I'm new here, but uh, someone's coming in later. She's been here a while. If you want to ask her. Do you know when she'll be in? Oh, around five. Is there anything in this place as beautiful as you? My, my. I've owned this shop for four years, and I must say, I've never heard that line before. Well, at least I didn't ask you if you just fell from the sky. <laughs> look, look, look. <laughs> I'm in the doghouse, and I could really use your help. I need something that will stun the wife. Are you looking for something truly amazing or affordably amazing? Truly amazing. Mm. Well, when my husband misbehaves, I prefer roses, but um, seeing as how we're not a flower shop, how does she feel about jewelry? Loves it. <laughs> does he misbehave often? He's not home enough to misbehave. Oh, uh, sorry. No, that must be tough. Even if we fight, I would hate it if I didn't get to see my wife every day. I'm sure he thinks about you. He'd be a fool not to. <laughs> this would work for me. Hmm. Sold. Okay. Will that be cash or charge? Cash. Eighty-seven fifty, please. There you go. Keep the chain. Oh, thank you. I hope she likes it. I hope your husband comes home soon. Not likely, but thank you. You know, someone as beautiful as you should never feel sadness. daytime TV. I mean, cartoons when I was a kid, but never the soaps. My mom used to watch the soaps. I always thought they were way over the top. Like a telenovela. Oh. Mm, similar, a except it usually had a priest who didn't want to be in love with a bad guy's wife, but he was. Then chaos and suits from there. That's not far off from a telenovela, except they usually involve doctors. <laughs> oh, ouch. You pick it up. This is totally thick. Get the fuck me ice cream. Listen, I want to talk to you about something. Close the fucking door. It's getting worse, isn't it? He's talking crazy. He has this idea, and it's dangerous. What does he want? Don't worry about it. Hey, you know, you can tell me. I was a fool to trust you. What are you talking about? You're gonna tell him. You're gonna tell him and then he's gonna punish me. No, Julia, I would never do that. You're just like him. You don't care. 
as long as you get what you want. And you don't care. Hold on a goddamn minute. I am nothing like him. You said you would help me. Julia, we're the same. No. We're not. You fucking bitch! Fuck you! I hope he killed you! And rip me back the pizza! Oh, it's pretty slow, actually. Um, there's this lady here, right here. Um, she's looking for somebody, you know? Uh, maybe you could help her out. Okay, right, well. okay, so how can I help you? Do you know her? Dahlia? Yeah. Really? Um, can you help me? She's missing. Really? Um, you know, honestly, I had a little crush on her. We talk all the time. She's a great girl. Anyways, um, do you, like, know where she went or do you remember anything? Yeah, it's funny. You know, the last time I saw her, she was wasted. She was making out with a couple right over there. It pissed me off. The guy was a dick. I remember his asshole face. It, a couple? It was creepy, kind of. Do you remember their name? But honestly, crazy thing happened about a month ago. Uh, the same guy came in here with another guy who comes here often. His name is Manny. And they were checking out a few girls. I know, because Manny's always hitting on me. What about the other guy? I recognized him from that night. He has a plain looking face and a plain name. Did you talk to him? Not really. I know him and Manny work together building houses. Houses? Yeah, you know, the fancy ones for rich people. Um, do you know his name? Uh, his name. Jack Terrace. Hey, what's your deal anyways? Are you the cops? No, I'm just a concerned friend. Sure, a friend who cares. Um, do you have the company's name? I think that they gave me a card. This is Manny's business card. But I'm gonna need that back, you know, he's cute. You never know. Do you have a pen? Thanks. Good luck with whatever it is you're looking for. And tell Dahlia I said hello. Remember that girl I told you about? Yes, I think so. Is she? Yes. She's the one. Does she really want you to play that scenario? Mm-hmm. She wants me to rape her. Just like that crazy swinger stuff that we used to do. Are you serious, Jack? That's too much. Come on, Julia. Every woman has a rape fantasy. You once told me yours. Remember how we played that out? But that's different. It's what you wanted. You played it so perfectly. I came into the bedroom. Didn't even give you a chance to scream. Kept you on your stomach. Pushed your head into the pillow. I remember. Remember how excited you were? Remember how hard you came that night? But that's different. I mean, I don't know her. She's not one of our swinger friends. How do you even know her? Don't ask a question that you don't want the answer for, Julia. So what do you want me to do? Plan it with me. Be with me on that day. You, you wouldn't even have to do anything. Just sit in the car and wait. She wants it to be perfectly authentic. So I'd steal something. Could be returned later, of course. I'd tie her up, wear a mask. It's just role play. But if people don't know what's going on, we could get in trouble, Jack. I mean, is she married? 
is her husband in on this? Can I at least think about it, Jack? Of course. Julia, take all the time you need, baby. Trust me. It's all perfectly for show. I would never do anything to put you in harm's way. You know that. I know you'll come around. You always come for me, baby. Jack. Would you like to come for me now? Yes, please. Lay down. I'm going to work. Think about what we talked about. And be excited about our time out later. I'm going to feed her. Make sure she eats. She wants me to rape her. Hi, Dahlia. Are you okay? Do you need anything? Um, no, I'm, I'm good. Okay. Hey, you know, I used to kind of have a girlfriend. Are you a lesbian? I never thought so. I mean, I like girls, okay, but I, I've never been with one. Were you in love? Mm, we could have been. We weren't together. She kind of picked me up and put me back together after my asshole ex-boyfriend. I lived with her for a little while, went to counseling, and then I just left. I'm really sorry about the other day. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> you know... I always felt like with her, I put on too much pressure, you know, dumping my problems on her without dealing with it, you know? I mean, I'm obviously very good at getting myself into situations. You know, just for the record, I said no to Jack that night. Really? Well, yeah, you reminded me a lot of me, except you've lived outside of this, and you've actually had people care about you. Yes, Julia, but... Like, Christ, why aren't I enough? I was 27 when I met Jack, and all I knew before him was garbage. He made me feel safe in this world that he's built for me. It's the only way I know to be loved, the way he loves me. It's the only way I know and believe that I'm loved. It can't be the only way. Olivia, that's her name. I call her Liv. <laughs> She once told me that abusive relationships start and then escalate. And sometimes the escalation is so slow, you don't even realize that it's happening. What was the first time he did something to you? We had just gotten married, and I was this broken little girl. And he made me the happiest I'd been my entire life. We got married in this beautiful garden, just the two of us. And he took me to the beach for a honeymoon. 
three weeks in paradise and everything was perfect. Jack already had this house and he told me I could decorate it any way I wanted. I suppose that's how it started. It was teaching. Molding you? Yes. To be a perfect wife. And the more perfect I became, the more distant he would grow. Looking back, it was almost like he was getting bored. I think he may have had somebody on the side, but I was too blinded by love to notice. So yes, he molded me to be the perfect wife. He told me how to style my hair and how much makeup to apply. He'd go with me to my appointments and direct more or less depending on his taste, how to do my nails, what kind of shoes to wear, my clothes. And every time he brought me something new, I thought it was so sweet. I guess it went on like that for about four months. And then one day during dinner, he got up really fast and he threw his plate on the floor and told me the food tasted like shit. And, and I, was, I was confused because it was his favorite, pot roast. And I knew I must have done something to trigger it because it just happened. And I, I kept apologizing. I was trying to clean it up. And he told me to hurry up and clean it up. And then suddenly he was breathing heavy. And then he whispered, stop. And I looked up at him. And he gave me that wild look, a look I've come to know well, and I'm sure that you've seen. Then he told me to lay on my back, and I tried to explain that there were glass shards on the floor, and he didn't care. So I lay down. He told me to lift up my dress and pull down my panties, and he grabbed a towel and got on his knees, and then. And then he just fucked me. And it was hurting so bad. I was in so much pain. And I could see my tears mixing with the blood on the floor. And it hurt so bad. And then I just passed out. And when I woke up, he was gone. So I, I pulled myself up. I got cleaned up. I cleaned up the house. And I sat down on the sofa. And I waited. And he didn't come home for two days. What was he like when he came back? <laughs> he pretended like it didn't happen and had it been weren't for the scars on my back, I would have blocked out the memory. I know that feeling. It's like you can endure anything just to hold on to it. And I did. For a long time. I should get going. Jack will be home any minute and I don't want him to catch us. Sorry, but we can get out of this. I know we shouldn't trust each other. But we have to do what we need to do to get through this. Jack, I, I know how much you want this, but I just don't know if... Look, this is our next great adventure. 
change is what makes life great. Seasons. Do you really think this will be good for us? I mean, we've done some crazy things, but... And all of those crazy things have been great. Do you know any other couple who has as much fun as we do? They're still in love with each other. You know I don't, Jack. <laughs> Only death can tear us apart. Baby, you are so beautiful. This is gonna bring us even closer together. <sighs> okay. Okay. Now remember the plan. Stay in the car and be ready to leave once I come out. That's it.
It's you ready to go. 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 What's wrong? Go. Come on. Oh, that was amazing. Perfectly. Huh? Yeah, yeah. You're doing great. You're doing great. Yeah, no, no. Come on. Just keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah, just keep going.
It's me. You must be Olivia. Yes, I'm looking for my friend. I spoke with Manny on the phone earlier. Let me see that. I was told you met with her before she went missing. I've never seen this girl before. I vaguely remember that night flirting with maybe that girl, but... Did she leave with you or your wife? Listen, Olivia, I'm a very busy man. Frankly, my wife and I have an open relationship. So, yes, I probably flirted with that girl on the flyer. I promise you, that was it. If I recall, my wife wasn't really into her, and we left it at that. I'm really sorry that your friend is missing. I'm very lucky to have a friend like you. But unfortunately, I can't help you beyond having met her once at a bar a while ago. Did you see her with anyone? You know, she did mention something about an abusive boyfriend, if I recall. It was sort of the reason that the wife wasn't into her. She said that she felt sorry for her. Sort of a turn off, you know? Please, keep me posted. If I can think of anything else, I'll call you. I have your number now. Hey, I know you. I'm Olivia. Olivia, yeah, uh, yeah, I remember you. Uh, so, no, I can't give you his home address. But I have something of his I need to return. Okay, well, just leave it here with me or tell him yourself. I prefer to leave it at his place. Why? What is it? It's personal. Like, um, you know how Jack is. Yeah, I can't give you his home address. He wants me to leave it at his place. No can do. Look, leave it here with me. Or asking yourself, but I made a call. Miss Conejo? Hey, he's gonna be here later, right? You have me to order some more windows?
Now, what I need you to do, put those on, go out the back door, through the neighbor's yard, into the woods, okay? It will lead you out here. Just follow the sound of the road. And get out of the way from here as far as you can. I don't understand. I don't understand. No, it's, you gotta go. It's the only shot we got. What about you? I made a choice a long time ago. I'm either gonna live with this or I'm gonna die with it. Come with me. It's too late for me. You gotta go! Go! Get out! Go! <laughs> Plants tonight. Julia! You lied to me! You lied what to me! Fuck, what the fuck, Julia? How could you? I wasn't even up for you! Why? What the fuck? Calm down! Calm no. oh, down! No. Oh, down. No.
you so much. I've never done anything like this before. I'm Veronica. Julia. Where are you going? Wherever. Well, I'm headed to Cali, so I can drop you off somewhere on the way. California sounds great. Okay. So, what's your story? Just a free woman looking for a fresh start. Thank you.